Is your microwave trying to catch fire? Mine was. My microwave, in, in fact, uh, I took it off, but my microwave has a board that was right there. And I also have one right here. And it's called a wave guide board. It's made of material called mica. This is what my board started to look like. I don't remember which side was the front. In fact, I think it went like this. And you can see I actually unscrewed it and then I started to uh, tear it off with a screwdriver mainly because mine has glue around it so I had to uh, tear it off. But this is actually my uh, Magnetron. I don't know why I want to say it but I want to say Megatron. <laughs> Transformers. Anyway, the Magnetron is what makes the microwaves that cook all the food in the microwave oven. When this board starts to go bad and I guess it went bad because maybe there was a lot of food particles on it or something it starts to catch fire and what it basically does is it stops um, moisture or steam and food particles from going back into the microwave messing up the magnetron and also messing up some of the circuit board so you can run it without this but it's not advisable because your lifespan of your microwave will probably probably soon be uh, shortened so the best thing to do is to just order a new one of these and replace it They're, they don't cost a lot um, I actually ordered mine on Amazon I'll put links in the description on where you can order one but they don't cost a lot of money and I got mine in a sheet uh, about like this and what I'm gonna actually do is you could probably tell I went ahead and I drew exactly where I need to go I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna put some new ones in place. Um, but basically when I started my microwave, there was a lot of sizzling going on and it started to catch fire. All right, so once, once you have a piece of this mica board, all you really have to do is take your old piece like this, trace it. All I did was I laid it down, I traced it for the holes. Of course, I uh, marked into the holes where that's at. And then what you could do is just take a piece or, or some scissors and just cut it. It's really not that difficult and cut out the shape that you need. Now in most cases they also buy the shape that you need, you might not even have to cut it. I use a small drill bit to drill the two holes out. All right, there it is all done. Just uh, For me, I just screwed them back in place. Most microwaves don't even have screws. You just set it in place and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, Give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.